Now listen to me, man. Easy. I have quick action. Easy. And also, Echo Alabi Savage. Easy. Of the Roots Annabo fame. Easy. Ladies and gentlemen, talking about Echo Alabi. You know, reggae band or reggae music started, you know, with these people right from the 80s. Easy. And listen, as I said before, in 1984, the root Annabelle, without an album, Easy. they were able to earn a slot to perform at... You know, in Jamaica at Reggae Sound Fest, um, 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 Reggae Sound Splash. Easy. Let me get it right, man. Reggae Sound Splash. Easy. <laughs> Matter of fact, they were the first people to have recorded in the Tough Gong Studio. I mean, the first Africans, for that matter, to have, you know, record in a Tough Gong Studio. Easy. Ladies and gentlemen, Echo Alabi, he is a performer, songwriter, singer, and a producer. Easy. We can't talk about the Ghana reggae sound. What makes it a Ghanaian reggae without this particular, you know, <laughs> gentleman? You know what I mean? Easy. <laughs> And in 1984, as they played reggae, you know, Sound Splash, I was wondering how old you would be around that particular time. Easy. The youngsters who are making a lot of noise today. You understand me? Now, in the same year, 1984, they recorded this album, Civilization. Easy. Let me play this one. This one is Blefo You Be. to this reggae sound do you feel the Ghanaian in there I'm just posing this particular question today I will make sure that I will activate the phone lines for you to call in a lot of issues hovering around that Ghanaians are trying to bite this and bite that and bite this and bite that in terms of sound you understand me? The reggae sound. What makes it a Ghanaian? Talking about man like Quick Action in the place to <laughs> Quick Action, he, he he has done a lot. You know what I mean? Yes, if you know this song, Rainbow, on the um, Samini's Untamed, you know, album, he was the one who produced it. You understand me? Solid reggae sound. Easy. And trust me, the likes of Stone Boy, trust me. Who, who, matter of fact, when St Stone Boy started his career, you know, look like quick action kinda wore the man down. You understand me? 
You understand me? And, and, and really, 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 you know, did a whole lot of job for Stone Boy. Let me play this one. This is an international tune. We got John Wayasse. Rastafari. Sometimes man becomes a singer. I am I. I am a stranger. Because I'm no stranger in my motherland. I am I. I am a stranger. Drums in there. I, I don't know. I don't know whether it's jembe drum or <laughs> Naya Bingi. Yeah, right, it was a bingi drum. <laughs> yeah, man. So, so we have we have all these things. You understand me? We have all these, you know, songs. And trust me, there are a lot of questions and questions and questions that what exactly makes it a Ghanaian? You understand me? Easy. Everything is all right in the place. My name is King Lagazi. Exactly a minute going into the R2. Easy. Let me go and welcome, you know, my noble guest into the house. You know, we're still waiting on, you know, Uncle Zap. Easy. He told me this afternoon that he's got some, you know, some little engagement and all that. And, you know, he's fixing things. You know, to come. So we're still waiting on him. As in when he step in, he will join the conversation. But as of now, trust me, I have a call, Alabi Savage, and also quick action in the studio. Amazing. Quick action. Yeah, man. How, how are you doing, quick action? I'm doing fine, my grace, <laughs> my grace. Yo, 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 it's been ages, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> in Lagos. Yes, sir, yes, sir. <laughs> so, how has the journey been like for you in terms of production and all that? You know, you you have produced a lot, countless of hits. Yeah. From the Samini, Stone Boy, yeah. those days and all that, you understand me? Mm. Who are some of the artists you, you produce apart from Samini and, and, and Stone? Okay, let's say Black Rasta. Black Rasta, yeah. Uh, Prince Bright of Bookback. Okay. Kung Fu Kwade. Mm-hmm. Kwao Kesi. Mm-hmm. Sakodye. Mm-hmm. Um, Screwface. All right. Afro Moses, Ben Bracon. The list goes on. All on. right. <laughs> so, yeah, man. So, um, we are, you know, in the right arena, don't it? Sing. But let us limit ourselves to... You know, I'm not saying limit, but you know, reggae is everything. You understand me? Out of reggae, you know, it's like uh, out of many, we are one people. You understand me? Mm. Out of reggae came a lot of genus and all that. Amazing. So let's do the reggae stuff mm. this afternoon. Okay. All right. Let me go to um, Echo and welcome him into the place. You know, um, he's he he is not in Ghana, but based in um, Germany, Berlin. You understand me? And he, he run things over there, big time, and all that. You understand me? So, but he's in Ghana. Immediately, the man step into Ghana and said, boy, you know what I say? You need to come on the show. You are the right man, you know, to talk. And he said, your legacy, I will come. Echo. Yes, sir. Blessed. Give thanks. How has the vibe been like for you? The vibe? You know, from, from, from Ghana to Berlin. How has it been like? You coming home you know, seeing the works and going back. Yeah, I think I should give thanks to Ja, you know? Mm-hmm. The progress. Mm-hmm. All we were looking for is progress. Definitely. In sound, in liberty, you know? Definitely. And like you said before, Roots and Abo in mm-hmm. Jamaica and la 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 la. Mm-hmm. It's been uh, great. Mm-hmm. Some ups and downs, you know? Yeah. Life is like that. Definitely. But it's been great and I think the sound... In Ghana, it's improving. Mm-hmm. You know, beat, high life, hip life, 
all our kind of music, you know. Mm -hmm. But then reggae st stand out strong. Definitely. Because I did some work with Black Prophet mm -hmm. not long ago. And I heard what he did in Ghana. And I said, wow, where did you record it? He said, oh, in Ghana. I said, ah, lots of good producers, you know. So the sound for me is getting better and better and better, you know. All right. We got so, a future. All right. So let's start from your days, you know, from the 80s coming. Um, how was the sound like in terms of, you know, the reggae sound? That anywhere you go and you, 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 maybe if, if it's a guitar or whatever, everybody knows that, everybody kind of know that this set of people are coming from Ghana. Ah. Yeah, you know, like, reggae music has varieties. Mm -hmm. Because you start from ska, mentor, blah, 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 till you get... Rock steady and then mm -hmm. reggae came in. Mm -hmm. But I think when Bob Marley and the brothers come and say roots rock reggae, mm -hmm. the roots is the Africa. Definitely. The drum, you know, the Nadingi. And the rock, the guitars and the effects, the synthesizers, mm -hmm. was the rock. And the reggae is like regular people music. Mm -hmm. People don't know that reggae music, reggae means regular people. Mm -hmm. So they coin it. So instead of regular, they say reggae, reggae, reggae. <laughs> no patois. Mm -hmm. So like come back to Africa. It's like when there was some, a lot of, even Nigeria, we got Majek Fashek. You mm -hmm. remember? Yeah. Majek send down, Fashek. Send down the rain. Yeah. They were using talking drums and playing juju guitars. Mm -hmm. And we were playing Adua reggae, singing in the name of the Lord, Ruth and I was mm -hmm. like Adua reggae. Mm -hmm. And we had a lot of songs that were identified with our style, mm -hmm. Ghanaian. And like uh, Alpha Brondi in Ivory Coast, Nyada Rastapwe, Nyada Rastapwe, mm -hmm. you know, they were mm -hmm. all singing in our languages. So that was how our reggae changed, you know? And now reggae has new names like Ragamuffin, Dancehall, Afro Dancehall, African Dancehall. Ghanaian dance all king. Hey, <laughs> yeah. So progress is there. All right. So, but uh, um, what what I am looking at is, you know, um, people listening to our reggae and identifying it as this reggae comes from Ghana. What what exactly, you know, kind of make our reggae, you know, Ghanaian? I think it's language mm -hmm. and the rhythms too. You know, reggae have their rhythm. Mm -hmm. And when we play like a ponsan, ya ponsan guitar on reggae, mm -hmm. it's always like the beat. Mm -hmm. the, I think the language, the beat, like when I play it's the chunk, the skunk that brings reggae. Mm -hmm. But the other ones, you know, we... In which I have all read some songs like we call Agbaja Reggae. Guys, 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 So when a Jamaican hears, he asks me, where is the one? Mm -hmm. Where can I count one, two, three, four? You know, music, one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. Our beats, our rhythms, our language, that makes it different from the uh, reggae from England or gentleman, Germany or reggae from Jamaica. It's the language and the beats, the rhythms. You know, our, our rhythms. Our rhythms. Let's play this one here. Easy. Sing. Sing. Assassin Radio. Sing. 
Big up to Dynamic on the life. My brother Dynamic, big up yourself, man. So Echo, you, you you were saying something that you know you were playing Adua and all that on this particular you know track. Yeah. track. I'm the drummer then singing background and Samuel Nukwese is the lead singer, you know. Uh, all right. But then we were you know those days. This was in nineteen eighty four. This oh. song it was recorded in 1986, but we wrote it 84. 84. Before uh -huh. we went to Jamaica. All ah, right. You know, those days, we, you don't have computer where you sit down and do music alone. Yeah. So we do a collective. Yeah. We all, the band goes to the rehearsal room. Okay. And we start to jam. Okay. So the guitar start to play the chords and, you know, so we were saying, Chale Yambo, Yambo African, Reagan, Yancy Semna. But we used to play straight reggae, like mm -hmm. Black Uhuru, mm -hmm. of it. Then I said, oh, Charlie, you mean the most city bass line thing? I can, I can play this beat, <laughs> like Adowa in, uh, yeah, you know? Then later I thought, oh, it's like uh, Steel Post. Ka, ti, ti, ka, ka, ti, ti. Rally around the front. Yeah. Rally around the dead. Mm -hmm. uh, the, 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 you know? Yeah. So, but then he was playing uh, the raga, ka, 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 ti. But me, I, I started playing ka, 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 in a slow beat, mm -hmm. you know, because Adwa is a bit stretchy. Okay. Even Adwa no, neko, neba, beat in here straight. Sir. Santa for a neko, neba. So, so that's the beat I used for this singing in the name of the Lord. All right. So it it, it means that you 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 were kind of putting the Ghanaian kind of stuff strictly. Into it. To Ghanaian For it to be identified as. And it was identified. As Ghana. In Jamaica, record. man. Wow. That's why Crazy. we went to Sunsplash. Because yeah. when we. We didn't have record that time. But we had. Those days we record our shows with cassette. Yeah. So when the guy saw us. A guy from Sunsplash saw us in Munich. Okay. Playing live. Yeah. So we, we had a break and he came to backstage. Actually, he asked our German engineer. Mm -hmm. Where are these guys from? Mm -hmm. Then the guy said, we are from Ghana. Mm -hmm. But he thought it was Guyana. Yeah. So when he came back to st uh, backstage yeah. in the break, then he said, man, how now did they start to speak Patois? And he said, we are going in Guyana. <laughs> yeah. Then I said, no, we, we are not from Guyana. We are from Ghana. Okay. In West Africa. What? African? So he said, want to play reggae like Yadi and thing, yeah. you know? So that's how he wanted us to... Well, do you have a record? We say, no, we are about to record. Then he said, how can I, uh, I'm a, one of the reggae Sunsplash mm -hmm. organizers. Mm -hmm. And I think you guys can play in Sunsplash. Mm -hmm. And this was in March 84. Mm -hmm. So engineer said, okay, we can record a cassette tomorrow night. We had two shows. Mm -hmm. So we can record a cassette tomorrow night, which was the Saturday. Mm -hmm. So the Saturday he recorded a cassette and gave it to the guy. And the guy went to Jamaica. And before we see, they say, Charlie, you are coming to Jamaica. Amazing. In August, Charlie, from March, April, May, June, July. Bah, we did there. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, in the studio right now is Quick Action and also a co Alabi, Savage of Root Annabo. Faith. Amazing. Yes, 30, 30 minutes gone into the arm, uh, two, and we're live on a Sassy. 99.5 in Accra, 98.5 in Kumasi. 100.3 in Cape Coast and 99.7 in Tamale. So, so my people, what do you think about what Echo is saying? You understand me? You know, what exactly do you think? Let's go to quick action. Quick action. Yeah. Um, you've done a lot of marvelous works. Yeah. Trust me. Thank when you. I go into the catalog, the catalog is big. Yeah. You understand yeah. me? It's huge. Yeah. Now, what exactly do you put into your production that people recognize that, ah, this reggae is from Ghana? Or Quick Action is known as that producer that does, you know, the Ghanaian thing. Like, people listen and they're like, boy, <laughs> this is different. Yeah, yeah. This is what I have to say. You see, reggae music mm -hmm. is the heartbeat of God. Definitely. Mm -hmm. You got it. Definitely. The concept of creativity 
originated from God mm -hmm. in the first stage. Mm -hmm. And when you wake up in the morning, mm -hmm. listen to your heartbeat. Definitely. It goes like, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> yeah. boom, boom. When you hit up the tempo, it goes like, boom, boom, cha, boom, boom, cha. So it is, it is something that has come for us and it, it, it will never leave us. Mm -hmm. And that has been my inspiration. Any reggae production I've done mm -hmm. came out from my heartbeat. Wow. So it hits you and you feel no pain. <laughs> definitely. You got it. Definitely. You definitely. Yep. Yep. So so, yep. in, so in terms of working with artists, mm. like all the big names, like the Samini, yes. the Stone Boys and all that, mm. when they come to you for, you know, production-wise, mm. how, I don't know, I don't know, how do you, how, how do you go about the, you know, like the, 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 the production? I mean, in terms of, I don't know whether it's, it's live band, how do you yeah, mic yeah, the yeah, drums? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, um, reggae music mm -hmm. has something, let's say it's an, a black identity. Mm -hmm. I started working with Samini, uh, moving from Batman to Samini. Mm -hmm. And he mm -hmm. said, yo, guy, Charlie, I want to change my style because mm -hmm. I'm coming out with a new brand. Mm -hmm. What do you think we can do? Mm -hmm. So I created like five or six different instrumentation and he said, yo, I like all of them. Mm. So we started working on them one after the other. And there was a particular song, Odo. Mm -hmm. It took us one year. Mm. It took us one oh, year. With the flute, Odo. Yes. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. It took us yeah. one year. Mm -hmm. Samini would drive all over from Dansuman. He would come to the studio. I would listen to his vocal. I'd say, yo, Rasta, I don't like your voice today. And he's a very good listener. Yeah. yeah. Whatever you tell him, he will he will listen and he will he will obey before complaining. <laughs> Definitely, <laughs> he will go back and come another day and it will be fire. And by the grace of God, this this became a confirmation and became the first um, black music of black origin, mm -hmm. mobile. Definitely, two thousand and six. Yeah. Yes. So that was my first reggae production to that highest level. Wow. So basically, it is a black identity, but you could feel this high life thing because high life is our thing. Definitely. Yeah, so our music or our kind of reggae music is it's a different version from what they are doing out there. This is our... Uh, yeah, yeah, assassin. Yeah, assassin. <laughs> the voice of our life. Yes. Yes. Assassin Radio. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. So, looking at all this, you know, what has really changed? Quick action. What has really changed now? In, 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 in terms of listening to, you know, our reggae now, as compared to first, when a, a whole Samini mm. can, you know, will step into your studio and you tell Samini that, yo, yo I, I think I don't like your voice today. Mm. Yes. Go and come tomorrow. Yes. And he will listen to you and yes. he will go. Yep. He wanted to grow. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. But but comparing those days to now, what has really changed? Um, I would say cut and paste production is the cause of this whole yeah, yeah. challenge at, at, at hand. Yeah. Because people don't have time to learn how to even play do re mi, and they they want to, you just pick up their fruity loops, um, then cut and paste, and it's a different thing altogether. So, um, comparing previous to now, mm -hmm. there's a vast uh, difference in terms of production. Mm -hmm. uh, but I would say now that we have proper equipment, this is the time that we need to take advantage and. Um, do proper productions because now we have good equipment. Mm -hmm. Now we have good equipment. So I think some of us, me, myself, I'm going back to school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because technology is evolving and mm -hmm. we cannot be doing the old kind of trick. We need to add up and see the way forward. All right. Because I'm, I'm eyeing a Grammy, you see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you are eyeing a Grammy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> it shall come to pass. Definitely, yeah, definitely. So, so, so put, put it on record. I should put I it will. on record. Yes. <laughs> Samini says until he hit a Grammy, he's yes. not stopping, you yes. know what I mean? <laughs> a man with a focus never flop. That's right. Echo Savage. Yes, sir. Um, from Berlin to Ghana, you, you, you know, you've been running the place up and down I'm here and trodden, there. Trodden. What has really changed for you? You understand me? 
You mean in Ghana? In Ghana. Yeah. In terms of our reggae. Yeah, like my brethren say, the the cut, uh, cut and paste uh, generation kind of bring it, brought it down. But I think it's working up because I had uh, Black Rasta had some few releases. They sounded very good. Live roll the drums, yes. and I asked him, and he's, he called the name from Tema guy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I forgot the name of the producer, but it's somebody from Tema. Mm -hmm. Is it Kewa? No, no. Okay. Was it? Oh, no, I think it's Kewa, yeah. Oh, okay. One of the Kewa. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And I liked it, you know, the instrument. Me, I like instrumentation. Yes. When That's guys good. play the music. Mm -hmm. Even when we program, we play. Mm -hmm. You know, you play the drums. Mm -hmm. Instead of loop, you play. I I used keyboards to play hi hi to to guy. You know, we play good do do with you know you roll, mm -hmm. not program it like uh, loop mm -hmm. or sample. Mm -hmm. So it sounds good now. I mean, some few reggae's and the guy who did the song, uh, some political song, mm -hmm. this new, mm -hmm. the 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 uh, some not now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No no no. The, I listen to it on this political program. Mm -hmm. It's like the country is suffering. Uh -huh. I forgot the name, but yeah. it's a good reggae yeah. song. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's yeah. good reggae song. The beats, the mm -hmm. sound. Like he said too, the equip there are good equipments in, in Ghana now. People have to just learn. If you want to be an engineer, you should. Now you can go online, Google, and get free education. YouTube, they will teach you what to do. And then when you know, you do your, you, you put your own vibes. So I think we have to learn. People mm. have to learn. If you want to be a drummer, you should practice. Mm. If you want to be a guitarist, you should learn. Mm. Engineer, you should. Everybody should be. Mm. The world is moving too fast. All right. Easy. The world is moving too fast and we have to learn. Please, if you're on a live on Asasi 995, please share the link. Share the link. Button. Sing. Asasi Radio. Oh, I'm to you, no man. Easy. How can you be on the live without sharing it? Share the link, no man. Easy. Share it, man. Oh, I'm the, yeah, Jamaica, sure. share it. Yeah. Australia. <laughs> this is this is our thing. Easy. You know what I mean? And trust me, everything is all right in the place. Everything good. Trust me. My name is King Lagazi. 21 gone into the R2. And we're looking at Ghanaian reggae. You know, we're looking at the, you know, Ghana reggae sound. What makes it a Ghanaian? You understand me? And trust me, we, you know, it, with the likes of the Root Anabo, you know, Echo and his brothers going to Jamaica to play. And, you know, around that time in 1984, them, them you know, people identifying them as they are coming from Ghana because of the sound. You understand me? But now, today in Ghana, if a Ghanaian artist is to go out now and play you know, his reggae, can the people or will the people um, identify him as you are coming from Ghana? Because seriously, if you listen to Alpha Blondie, right? If you listen to Alpha Blondie, if you listen to um, Tikin Jaffa Kohli mm -hmm. and all those artists, immediately you, you listen to their, their sound. You know where exactly they are coming from. It's African, you hear the root, the you language, understand me? the rhythm. Immediately, you know, sometimes, maybe, I, I don't even know the, 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 the song title, but if I walk through a ghetto and I, and I hear some drum rolling, I say, this is Lucky Dube. Mm. You know, from South Africa. Yes. Mm. You understand me? Mm. But, yeah. quick action. Yeah. In today's Ghana, mm -hmm. if they play a reggae sound right now, mm -hmm. would you identify it? Or, or can you identify it and say, oh, this is coming from Ghana? Yes, it depends on the instrumentation. Mm -hmm. You see, sometimes some of the musicians come to the studio and say, you see this um, Cisla Kolonji rhythm, mm -hmm. can, can you sample it? And mm -hmm. I, I don't get it. Sample it means to play, 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 play it the yeah, same. The same I, and I, I, I don't see the identity in there. When, mm -hmm. I, when I do that, I will end up promoting somebody's... Yeah, copy, <laughs> copy. You, you, you <laughs> understand. Copyright. Mm -hmm. so most of my productions that I, I have done... Mm -hmm. I don't listen to any. It is basically instrumentation that comes. And that is why I thank God 
for giving me that award for the first time <laughs> simply means that out of the many <laughs> on the, that international platform, <laughs> they, they discovered something, something. unique. True. <laughs> You understand, and if you Which listen to Samini's order yeah. the, from the intro, it started <laughs> yeah. as a ballad. You understand. So that is that is that is the Ghanaian like identity. <laughs> you understand. So yes, I can possibly figure it out and say, yo, this is coming from Ghana. Mm. Yeah. So so um, let's talk about the sound in terms mm. of wh which kind of instrument. Mm. Um, would would you identify in that particular song that you say, ah, this is coming from Ghana? Mm. Is yeah. it a conga drum? Is it no, no? Is the, it? As, as for the conga and the djembe, mm -hmm. even the Jamaicans are still using it. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. there are some tones like this, uh, separate and all these things. Yeah, you understand. I did the production with uh, Sami Hawani for uh, Rocky Dawuni. That's a mm -hmm. UNICEF Clean Water mm -hmm. uh, project like that. Mm -hmm. A clean water project and you see the kind of instrument that we used mm -hmm. was dynamic we tried to make it real and mm -hmm. natural not this kind of i mean samples. samples you understand everything was played live and I, honestly i learned a lot of things from sami hawani from through that production mm -hmm. so we are doing great just that i mean some of the uh, presenters are failing to project mm -hmm. Some of as you're doing mm -hmm. this, you are bringing out details. Definitely, are you getting it? Mm -hmm. And these are some of the things we need to educate the people mm -hmm. so that they know that it is not just um, reading, reading. So we say sample this and sample that and some. So yes, we we have the real. As I was coming, I heard you playing um, a production from Zap Malet and mm -hmm. see me whom I mean yeah. you. Yeah, and wherever I, I am, I could feel the Ghanaian identity in there. Mm -hmm. So no 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 mistake. <laughs> no mistake. Yeah. <laughs> so Echo. Yes, I. Um, is it easy to identify like in today's Ghana? Is it easy for you to in, in our current productions, you understand me? You know, you've been out there and you've you you have gone to a lot of um you know, festivals and all that and all that and all that. Would you say in today's Ghana, you go you, you go for a show and then enjoy yourself and before you hear reggae music play and you and you be like, who are those? Yeah, I didn't hear reggae live yet. People playing Ghanaian. It's more like they play covers. Mm. Most of the time, they they will play one hour, you know, people music, you know. So I I, I think reggae, we don't have live reggae. We have other stuff, but not live reggae. I think we, those guys who do the hip hop, hip life, mm -hmm. some of them do tree rap and yes. and you know like, I I kind of like those kind of hip hop hip these new beats. Trap and then, but with Asante mm -hmm. or with Airware, mm -hmm. that brings the identity. And at least, mm -hmm. if Jay Z or Busta Rhymes hears a and then somebody says, you know, mm -hmm. it's interesting. Yeah. But and I kind of mm -hmm. miss reggae, like you are saying. Mm -hmm. Who is playing live reggae and playing his own kind of reggae now? Mm -hmm. In Ghana, nobody, I like. Uh -huh. I was here last year for five months. Mm -hmm. My mother passed away, so I did some. And I was checking, there was no reggae, live reggae like before. When Vibration Kings, those mm -hmm. guys were good. Yeah. I had one of them pass away, yeah. the twin. Yeah. They were good with Com Commander Messiah. They were yeah. playing their own stuff. Yes. But now, Legacy, man, there is no reggae band mm -hmm. yes. playing their own reggae with identity. I think high life we still get plenty high life. Yes. San Trophy, that's, that's Ambule, every mm. high life. Mm. But reggae dear, mm. I check I check it keep yeah. long. Mm. Tell me the last ten years who was reggae yeah. band in Ghana? I'm, okay, Black Rasta. We have Once reggae, a while he could. Yes, yes. But they don't play live. Mm. Which we need. I mean mm. I would love to see people play Ghanaian reggae yes. live. Mm. And people go dance, you know? Gone were the days when dance used to ram. 
you go to dance, you full joy yourself, you listen to yeah, yeah live Nobody music and all that kind of thing. But you know, of, of late it looked like you know mm. all those things are kind of yes. I don't know. It's the pressure now. People <laughs> people are live into the sound system team more than the live band. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, uh, it got up. You know, Jamaica too had it from years. Yeah. You remember when Yellow Man and things start? Of course. And Shaba Rangs, they were, they were all doing the even Buju them. They started mm -hmm. from the dance hall, da, uh, sound mm -hmm. system. Mm -hmm. But Jamaica band culture is always there. Definitely. So from the from the you go to dan, uh, a sound system, you sing, 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 they say you are perfect, and they bring you to studio. Mm -hmm. Then band is backing you. Mm -hmm. Then from there, you get a, a deal, you can start to play with band. Mm. But we don't have it here. Even the sound system is more like, do you have reggae sound system? Yeah. Yeah, like that. I, if I want to go, if my friends like, come like, and we should go. Like as it sound. Yeah. yeah. Do you like set that. up and play some places? Yes, yes. Yeah, we can come. Yeah. We do. Um, matter of fact, we have few sound systems in Ghana yeah. that go around and play. And all the other day, excuse me, I saw you did some competition sound system yeah. not long ago yeah 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 i was it, uh, watching online it was uh the hands across africa cup clash okay. at the national theater okay which which lagazi sound international image yeah. as you won hey. Yes. Hey. Hey. Booyaka, 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 booyaka. i didn't follow <laughs> and there was some live music <laughs> of course the, the of guy from london of something. course of course you know yeah, so but like we don't have we don't have live band yeah. I, I there is other live bands. Yes, I think Zen, we, we, Zen, mm -hmm. and Gold Coast. Yeah, I always follow when people are playing live, but not reggae. We, we Maybe need... they play high life, play there, and they play some Kojenti reggae. Mm -hmm. They play some Lucky Dube. They, yes. you know, but no band is really. Everybody is scared to be ident have their identity. <laughs> so we <we're both laughs> reggae, and yeah. now nah, reggae. They think people will like, but people will like. No, like the main thing is if if you check it out. A lot of our artists who are doing 100% reggae, if if they start and they are getting the attention, you see then they switch. They do a, a little bit of hip life, uh, you know. They do a little bit of this, yeah, a little bit yeah, of that. You know, because I think reggae commercially yes, in Ghana yes, is not yes, selling. Yes, that's it. Reggae sells in Germany, mm. Italy, mm. Australia, mm. USA, yeah. Jamaica itself. Mm. Even Nigeria have yeah, yeah, yeah. good reggae mm. scene. Mm -hmm. Pato Rankin, yeah. he's yeah. always doing reggae yeah. and he does a bit of Afrobeats, but he's a kind of live, I saw him live, oh. he did reggae, a lot of reggae. I said, mm -hmm. ah, he has it on his album. But I think Ghana, we mm -hmm. should mm -hmm. share. <laughs> we, 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 need, we need to encourage, mm -hmm. especially the youth, mm -hmm. to buy into the live band idea oh yes um i had an encounter with buju banting mm -hmm. when he came to ghana mm -hmm. uh, he met he had a meeting with okonfo kwada at this legon mm -hmm. and okonfo said i have my producer i want to introduce him to you mm -hmm. he brought me and he said yo you wait wait i'm coming and he brought a acoustic guitar mm -hmm. it was a distinct acoustic guitar mm -hmm. and less than two minutes i tuned it and he was amazed and that alone qualified me. <laughs> yeah, that's a musician, man. Secondly, you know, you know the man called uh, Prince Bright. Yeah. Mm? Mm -hmm. I went on TV live with him, mm -hmm. and we played a song. Whatever them plan, you yeah, play yeah, that song yeah, for me. Yeah. Uh, we played that with my acoustic guitar. Mm -hmm. The next day, Shasha Mali called me and said, "Yo, that thing I was sleeping. Yeah. And and, and something was playing on the TV, yeah. and I saw you and." Prince Bright. Yeah. So these are some of the, we need to encourage the youth, especially mm. in the play musical instrument. Yes, it is the key, it, because you cannot just go on stage without playing musical instrument and say you're just doing uh, uh, reggae music. Yeah. No, you got to play. You got to chuck. You see that? <laughs> and strike it. Now the artists they play sound system. Yeah. They, they charge exorbitant amount of money. Yeah. They go on stage and they say, Yo, pull up, pull up. Pull up, pull up, Mr. One, DJ. Two, three. Who's the yeah, you'll be who's the who's the <laughs> call, my, call my name. <laughs> you see, and seriously, mm. sometimes when I look at some of these artists, I'm I'm kind of when when are we going to grow? Mm. When are we going to go out there, mm. you know, in a live band style mm. and all that? You understand? Because 
an artist you claim you are big and you don't even have a four piece band mm. that you 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 move with them and play live music you travel with only your dj mm. and uh, thousands of entourage you understand me go on stage play your own music jump from one one, the, one, the, end, to the the, one end to the other come back like three four five times and then you wrap it up pull up pull up you play you <laughs> now you give the mic to the crowd for the crowd to sing for you this is what is happening right now. Mm. You understand me? And sometimes when I look at it, there are a few good reggae artists who are doing so think, well. Uh, can I come in? Mm -hmm. I think Samini does. Yes. Live. I saw Samini long ago. Mm. Uh, at the first time I saw him playing live with those guys, uh, uh, Vibration Kings. Mm -hmm. It was the Nest Cafe competition, which Prayer won. Yes, mm -hmm. I was yeah. playing the keyboard. Yeah? Yes. So I was there with yes. your uncle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah, had yeah, a jeep yeah. that yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, from Moses. <laughs> so <laughs> I said, who is the artist coming? They say, but he was still Batman that Batman, time. Yeah, yeah, he or, was Batman or moving then. in between. Yes, yes. So everybody was, people who played before him mm -hmm. were with Mike, mm -hmm. la, 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 but he came mm -hmm. and there was band. Yes. And I went to see and mm -hmm. since then he's been always doing yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He comes yeah, to yeah. Europe. Yes. He finds a band. Mm -hmm. They rehearse one day mm -hmm. or two and they play. play. And I think Stoneboy, I even played with Vitamin X, a reggae band in mm -hmm. Germany, in this August. Mm -hmm. We did a festival called Africa Festival mm -hmm. in Freiburg, south of Germany, mm -hmm. at the border of Switzerland. Mm -hmm. About 3,000 people. And Stoneboy played with a band from London, mm -hmm. a musician I, we spoke together. Mm -hmm. It was only the guitarist mm -hmm. who came from, from his band here. Oh, okay. But the rest were from England. Mm -hmm. And they were yes. good. I mean... So I think Stoneboy does live too. Once a while, maybe sometimes it's the the money. Yes. If the festival can't pay for your band mm -hmm. and then you have to work, then you use a DJ. Yes. <laughs> for that I can excuse Stoneboy. But yeah, yeah. the rest, I don't want to call names, but uh, I think like as it the sounds, you, you need to sponsor. <laughs> we have to do a documentary on how we train Stoneboy. Definitely. Yeah. Because okay. he, he used to sing only in uh, baritone. Okay. And myself and my okay. brother, uh, Daniel, mm -hmm. who hold him two legs and would be pulling him, say, yo, if you don't sing in harmony, you are not moving an inch. Okay. So, oh, quick it up. I beg you, I will sing. And truly, truly, when he gets in there, he will do it. But they harmonize the yes, songs. Yes, He does very good yes, with that now. Yes, Even yes. I hear him. We need to do a documentary. Yeah, I hear Pro him. Proper documentary. <laughs> <laughs> I hear him. I say, oh, he can sing a pitch. Yes. Yeah. He pitch his own mm. voice, second mm. part, third mm. part, mm. which is good. Yeah. It's not All right. Yep. So, so the Ghanaian, mm. the Ghanaian reggae sound, mm. is it missing or is it still alive? It is alive. Underground. Easy. <laughs> 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 Alive, but on the ground. We should pull him out. Yes. <laughs> they want to bury it, but we should bring it out. Yes, I love that. All mm. right, so let's go on the phone lines now. Um, Massive, if you are listening to me right now, either in Kumasi, um, Cape Coast, Tamale, you understand me, or in Accra, give me a call now. You understand me? I have a call. I'll be savage of Root and Abu fame. You understand me? He reside in Berlin. But he's in Ghana now for a few weeks and all that. Trust me. Um, and also we have quick action in the studio. So you can give us a call on 0200 9951 or 0549 Easy. Easy. Yeah, man. So everything good and everything is all right. Yeah, man. Yes, I. Yeah, man. Everything good and everything is all right in a place. Someone is on the line. Hello. Good afternoon. What is your name? Where are you calling from? Your name is what? Okay. And you're calling from Dakuman? Dakuman. Dakuman. Okay. Dakuman. All right. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Thank you. Yeah, about the live band, I think Samini, Samini, I'm not sure. But live 
Oh, if you can, uh, your line is breaking. If you can position yourself well and just um, um, somebody might say, mature your voice more. You kind of <laughs> speak with some volume. Yeah, hello? Hello? Uh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. So you can still call. Yeah, man, sorry about that. Um, you can still call 0200 zero, 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 nine nine five one or zero five four nine one five seven 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 seven. Easy. I have quick cash in and then a call Alabi Savage in the studio. So I was asking whether you know the Ghanaian reggae sound, whether it's alive, whether it's still alive or not. And Echo was saying that <laughs> it's on the ground. Oh, Charlie, what caught it? Wow, 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 wow! But uh, is, is there any reggae bands in Ghana? Yeah, definite reggae. Yeah, apart from you know reggae band. Yeah, in, can you call <laughs> we, one, Mister Reggae? Yeah, <laughs> um, um, we have um, Black Rasta and the Herbalist Band. Okay, I think yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, we have the uh Rhythm Kings band, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Somebody's on the line. Hello, hello, hello. What is the name? Where are you calling from? Yeah, greetings. My name is Chris Toby. I'm calling from Kumasi. You're calling from Kumasi, please. Um, I don't know, yeah. Can you lift up your voice more for us? Yeah, my name is Chris Toby. Chris Toby, oh, it's okay. an artist, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm a day, I think. Okay. Yeah, I'm calling from Kumasi. All right. Talk to us. Yeah, so I see this is a very positive education, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, it is a big challenge when it comes to uh, Rutika radio musicians in Ghana mm -hmm. to perform live. Uh, even most of the top artists that we also look up to, all of them, they don't have live performing, I mean, skills because they don't use to play with the band. And some sometimes you can see some international artists, they will go on stage and they have to play with the band. They even find it difficult. You see, but I suggest maybe um, they can have some band that can be affordable for the musicians to even go for. Even if your manager has to go and rent that band, like uh, legacy band can be affordable for the artist in a way of supporting the artist mm -hmm. for us to be, I mean, more confident to work with the live performance. Yeah. Okay. All right. We'll look into that. Easy. Yeah, Chris B. Chris B. You are a singer, no? Yeah. Zap Malik. Yeah, Zap. No, this is not Zap. This is Echomania. Yeah, Echo, yeah, man. We are friends on the yeah. reggae, reggae bandwagon. Yeah, man, I know that. Yes. Okay, you, he always but send me his stuff. On, yeah, even I, I saw this link on your uh, Facebook. Oh, okay. Well, you see, uh, all right, give thanks. True, true, give thanks. Yeah, man. All right, Me ba, me ba kumasi o. Also, you can see. Eh, me ba kumasi nti. You have a link here. Why? Yeah, man. No problem. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, man. So, um, definitely, 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 we need to know where exactly our reggae sound is and how, how in terms of how to program. King, King, wait, uh, oh, where is uh, my brother, uh, Fred Kente? Fred Kente. Yes, he's supposed to be here with us. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he does. He, he's of the course, one. Of yeah. course, of I think course. He don't have a band now, but yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Fred yeah. Is at yeah. Least. Hello. What is the name? Why are you calling from? Yeah, good afternoon, King Lagazi. Good afternoon. Yeah, what is the name? Why are you calling from? Again. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Again from the Akuma. Okay. Yeah. About uh, about the reggae reggae genre being alive for the reggae reggae is still alive in Ghana. Mm -hmm. It's just that our artists, after hitting with the reggae, they will switch to Afro 
Afro, uh, Afro institutions and other stuff. Mm -hmm. But right now, Tamini is coming out with Tamini's own band. Mm -hmm. so if we more of his shows, he's performing with his own band on the live and, and the other, like, Tumbo Sawahato has it. The beam band. This is uh, his band. Mm -hmm. So if they'll be doing more of the live team, and then other, the upcoming ones will follow their steps. Mm -hmm. I think the radio music in, in Ghana will be stopped in Africa again. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You're right. So mm -hmm. I think they should look about that one. Okay. All right. Yeah. about Mama Tisa Mimi. Respect. Yeah, because he's, mm -hmm. he's our own. Definitely. Our own. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> he had a song called yeah. um, My Own. Oh, yes. So now yeah. it's going to be Our Own. <laughs> yeah, man. Samini, yeah. Samini, yeah. Samini. Give thanks. Yeah, yeah man. Uh, All right. All right. Respect. Okay. Yeah. Jaffe's. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. So. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Our own. So, so. What I want us to look at now in terms of 45 going into the R2 on Asasi Radio, mm. on Yard Settings, my name is King Lagazi. What I want us to look at now is uh, how to identify that particular sound in this present time. But before then, let's pick somebody on the line. Hello, what is your name? Where are you calling from? Yes, sir, brother. Lucky has created both. Oh, your line, please, your line is breaking. So Network. can you position hello. yourself where? Yeah, hello. Is it clear now? Yeah, yeah it's clear. Yeah, yeah lucky that's great to see you. I got it. That's from Wa. You're calling from Wa? Yes, sir. My brother is in the inside the, the, the studio. I think they're doing something very, very, very good for Ghana and in the whole world. Mm -hmm. And I will just wait for them to keep it up. I'm a very, very good friend of the new person. But feel already. I'd like to be able to manage. And I'll bet that if one can text me, I think they will come back and say, oh, wow, the guy is really good. But, but what they are doing, that's the way for them. So if they can if they help me with one of their number, I think it will, it will be nice for You want their number? Of course. Okay. All right. All right. All right. So so, so I, I believe... Um, Echo is easy to reach. Quick action is easy to reach. You understand me? So before we close, yes, I I I will let them um put their numbers out so that people can you know um contact them. Okay, so can worry. Uh, um, 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 please just stick up in and keep listening. And before we we wrap up, you will get a number. All right? Yes. Sir. You see, the nice thing is that you go to them more. I get you people, and I think I always take you people all the time. Uh, your uh, line is not really uh, clear, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I, I I can hardly hear understand what, what you're exactly saying. You're too. saying so. If you can call back again, please. please. Yeah, man. If you can call back again, that would be very nice. Easy. Forty-seven gone into the R two. He called from war, so you know. I, I don't know, but everything good. You know what I mean. I Big respect to the, my people in the northern region True. as well. Zero five four nine one five seven 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 seven. Hello. Hello. What is your name? Why are you calling from? Yeah. This Andy Boy, Freedom. I'm from Aflau. You are calling from where? Aflau, Volta region. Aflau, Volta region. Yes, All right. Man. Talk to me. Uh, you know, in last day, mm -hmm. I really love the education. From 18 to now, the way you support, I mean, educating the youth to go up with the rich Music. Okay. I really love the way that the Okay. Give, give thanks. Give thanks. All right. All right. All right. So now I, I would like to find out the the reggae sound. You know, in terms of identifying it. You know, in terms of like production wise, what should we do? I mean, we should live. We should. Like I said, we should play reggae in our way. Because it's only the skunk that makes it reggae. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So like I have a song called Efie Nifie from mm -hmm. long ago. Mm -hmm. It's Adwa reggae. Typical Adwa. Efie and I'm singing tree. Mm -hmm. But you hear the reggae skunk. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have I... Rasta for... Mm -hmm. You mean this one? Yes, I... Selassie, I know. Rasta. Na 
Echo all of you realize that Oyaka went to Oh can be so he had to sing about this and come back home. <laughs> <laughs> it's dedicated to all travelers from Definitely. Ghana. Now now if uh, if you go on our Facebook page, um Daniel Apia says Black Prophet also does live ban and he's yeah, doing well too. True. All right. Junior Maestro all the way from Norway says the groundwork for any person playing an instrument or developing an interest start with the educational setup. True. All right. And then um, Junior Maestro again says, gentlemen, I have seen artists working with DJs and still make it with, um, and still make it work proper. It's all about the rehearsal and well preparedness. Mm -hmm. All right. So mm -hmm. it means that, yeah, man, um, in terms of even artists working with DJs, you must work and prepare very well. Yeah, we get something called half playback. Okay. That means you have the instrumentation mm -hmm. and the chorus line, mm -hmm. but your lead vocal is out. Okay. Then you can do. Definitely. You can do like that. You yeah. sing like I'm... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. of course. That one all, is done. All right. So, Stephen McCarthy says, um, Lagazi, a quick question. How old is um, Echo? Echo, how, how old are you? <laughs> you ask my mother. Oh. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Please ask my mother. My mother is there for uh, Bowie Cemetery. <laughs> so if I go there, go ask her. No, come to my show on the 17th. Okay. And I'll tell you my age, yeah? Oh, oh you're having a show in Ghana on the 17th? Yeah. At where? It's 17th December. 17th. So make you search. At where? It's not confirmed yet. Okay, it's not confirmed yet. <laughs> because there's a lot of places and we don't know to go here or to go there. So All right. by next week, we'll be... Okay. I'm going to do a lot of shows, you know, Christmas, jamming with Akable, Ambule, Pat Thomas, Akusuya, Japan. I'm bringing out the all those yeah. sisters and brothers. Okay. And I think now I feel like getting reggae artists. Definitely. On the, on the you know, because... The plan was, I, I'm, I've been the only guy who does reggae in the whole. So I think I'll look for some new reggae. Yeah. If you know, I want female, I'm looking for female reggae singers. Okay. Please, All right. I need female. All right. Too much so, male in Ghana. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Junior Maestro again says, Adua is an Ashanti tribal dance with a specific rhythm. True. All right. So, um, Mensa Kabinat Mauli says, Big up yourself, King Lagazi, original, original. Style as style and style can spoil. You are settings to the world. All right. We give thanks and praise. Um, big up to Kamal Adin Jan. He said he's in tune to Assassin Radio and feeling the vibes. Kojo Asempa Furniture Works. Yo, this guy always, you know, can send us a message. Good afternoon mm -hmm. to your listeners from Kojo Asempa Furniture Works. Mm -hmm. You know, inside Kumasi Edum. <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm finishing my house. So come, <laughs> come put Market, your marketing strategy. Come Market put your strategy. furniture for my house. <laughs> I love that. Sing. <laughs> yeah, but so um, quick. Yeah. The sound. How? Um, in terms of identifying mm. our sound, mm. what what advice do you have for engineers? and also artists in terms of going into the studio to go and record mm. so that they can easily be identified with, mm -hmm. you know, maybe the Ghana sound or the Ghanaian sound. I think the greatest education you can have is appreciating who you are. Mm -hmm. That is the identity. Mm -hmm. If we appreciate who we are and do as what we have, I think that will create the uniqueness that we have as individuals. Mm. 
yeah, that will make us stand out and it will bring us confidence in wherever we find ourselves. We should do away trying to sample uh, international productions and let's do it our own way. I think that will take us. I, I will feel ashamed if I win a Grammy and my production is a sample of another way. I don't. I, Sounds like. Where, no, where is my identity? I don't know. But I'll be more than proud if I, I play my Afechua and True. Uh, Kalimba in a mm. reggae style and it wins Grammy. That. Inshallah. Yes. It will be. Uh, so once again, put it on record. Ken mm. Lagazi. All right, we should put it on record. Yes. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Yes. So, Echo. Yes, I. Uh, in terms of recognizing that particular, like, the Ghanaian sound, or what we call the Ghana reggae, or to be identified with, in terms of artists going into the studio to go record, you know, what advice would you give that particular artist? Yeah, like my brother said, our identity is what we're looking for. Mm -hmm. We have it, but people are scared, you know. Mm -hmm. People are scared to come out. Like the way I played a few and if it's a typical Adwa. Mm -hmm. I was not scared. That's it. And people love it. Yeah. Why even in Germans, when I play it live, people love it. Mm -hmm. So people don't have to be scared. You have to be creative. We have Kwan logo. Mm -hmm. Ghana, the other day I have a a kind of WhatsApp group with musicians worldwide. Mm -hmm. And Ghanaian musicians, we wanted to write down how many rhythms we have in Ghana? We had plenty, like 64. Mm -hmm. Because the Igbe, when you go to the airway side, mm -hmm. the Volta, they have different, different, different. Mm -hmm. Even Asante have Kete, Adwa, mm -hmm. Fanti have uh, Bobo, uh, Aigbe have Bobo, Bobo. Fanti mm -hmm. have Osibi. Mm -hmm. That's why Osibi sa, say, mm -hmm. we play in Osibi in Tisa. Mm -hmm. Because this mm -hmm. go, go, go is Fanti. Mm -hmm. Go, yeah. go, go, da, 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 da. it's Fanti. Mm -hmm. And we have the, uh, in Cranfo, Agnes. Yes. We have the Adan, yeah. Tamale, hey, go Volga and go, 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 you know. Ghana, we have music, mm -hmm. lots of rhythm. So we can always in, infuse it in reggae. Mm. All right. Don't be scared. All right. Thank you. So we have four more minutes to go away. Mm. So wow. I, I would like to say thank you so much. Quick action. Yes. Um, In terms of somebody want to contact mm. you, if you can put you know, your info out there okay. for them to reach out to okay, you. Okay, okay. So this is what I have to say on Instagram. I'm quick action official. I don't have any other Instagram account. Mm. On Facebook, you can reach me on quick action uh, or Joseph Apia Keys. Okay. That's, that's it. I don't have any other account apart from this um, social media handle. So, God bless you all. All right. Echo. Yes, I am. I'm a sumo hobby. Yeah, Instagram is uh, at Echo Mania. Mm -hmm. And Facebook is Echo Alavi Savage. Okay. And if you just Google me, you know, just write Google to Google and Echo Alavi Savage, you find my stories, my photos, my marriages. All right. My children, children. <laughs> and all that. And all I them. I want okay. to, I want to um, give a shout out to my, my man, okay. Emmanuel Yao Ametepe, mm -hmm. and original King Okoto, and Reverend Derek Akubia. I love you all. All right. right. Shout out. Shout out to Wadosu. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Ayi Brown. Yeah, man. Chop and chill your place in Kaswa. That's where we're going to be tonight and every night. And all the family and friends. And to you, King Lagazi, I've been following you for years. You know, I listened to him in my winter room when my on Sundays, when he was on Hits FM. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, we chat sometimes. <laughs> I listen to him because that's the only reggae vibe I can feel in Ghana. Of course. Mm. Give thanks, King. All right, Rastafari. respect. Respect every time. My name is King Lagazi. On behalf of the production crew, trust me. I say big respect and thanks to all my um, guests that came through. Hey. Quick action and also Echo Alabi Savage. My name is King Lagazi. Now, I would like to say um, speedy recovery, speedy recovery to um, Reverend 
I'm Apostolic Felix Ofori Osei. Easy. Zing. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to say speedy recovery to Apostolic um um Apostle Felix Ofori Osei. Um, speedy recovery, and may God continue to protect and guide you. Easy. To God be the glory and God be the honor. Um, trust me, we'll be here next week. Next week will be another thing altogether. Next week will be another thing altogether. Next week will be another thing altogether because we, we're coming with different fire and style. You understand me? Easy. His name is Bertos. And Bertos has got this one entitled Open Doors. Open Doors. Listen, this song here is the current song now, hitting up and beating up Jamaica. Ladies and gentlemen, have a feel of it coming from Bertos. Big up to Splaka Valley. You make me have this. Bertos, big up yourself and all the crew. My name is King Laga Z. Easy. Me want you listen to this one. Open Doors. Easy. 